Hi everyone, welcome to the QAOP channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be using the CLI to access the feedback form to the channel. So anyone can give me feedback uh, and can access that feedback form using CLI. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. And I'm also going to be posting the link for the previous one so you can keep it. Right, so Cool, so we have the, the CLI for those who do not remember. This is our CLI. This is our CLI, right? And I'm going to create a feedback uh, command here. So it's going to be BB um, CLI new command feedback. And I have the feedback form here. The feedback command, new command here already. Right? So if I go here to my the I have the feedback form, right? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to create this. So it's going to be command to access the feedback form for the channel. Now I'm going to say open language. And I'm going to say open the feedback form on the browser. And for language, I'm going to say either PR for Portuguese or English or EN for English. And I'm going to say you can set the default language in the user config file. So for those who uh, who doesn't remember, uh, we have a here in a user config which you set the the language your preferred language, and this is going to be accessible by any file in the CLI. So. I'm going to change here to open. I'm going to say opening feedback form in language. We don't have this yet, so I'm going to leave it open here. And when I say BB feedback open, then we have a message. So the the switch is working. I don't need this anymore. Cool. So the next the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to create variables. So, so we have link, right? So let me show you the link of the feedback form. So we have the feedback form. This is for English and we have another one for Portuguese. Right, so I'm going to create a uh, file here. I'm not going to create a file that's going to be accessible, um, a, a, a variable. I'm not going to export a variable that's going to be accessible throughout the whole code because I don't need the only thing, the only place that I need so far access to that link is here. So I'm going to keep it here. All right. So feedback form URL in English. And this is in English. I'm going to duplicate here. And this is the Portuguese version. And let me just access to make sure this is correct. Yes. So now I have access to those. And I'm going to, I'm, now I'm going to get the language, right? Because here, if the user, pass, if the user passes it, well, I need to use whatever the user passes. Otherwise, I'm going to use the default value. So language, so I'm going to define a variable, right? And we are going to get the variable number two. And if nothing, if that variable is not given, I'm going to use a default value, which is user language. And this is coming from the user config, user language. Right, so this is telling me like if there is a variable on on uh, a variable on position two, use it. Otherwise, use whatever it's defined in the other variable. 
Cool, so now I can put language here. So let me execute this again. Open English. If I put open PT, it's going to open PT. If I put open GP for Japan, Japanese, it's going to whatever I send here is going to override. Cool. So now what I'm going to do, I'm, I need now to create this link. Right? So not the link, I need to create to build the the variable name right because this is a variable depends on the language so i'm going to say link to open and this is going to be feed oh i have a type feed form feedback so let me fix this feedback form so it feedback form URL. Let me go the other way. It's English URL. URL to be at the very end. Portuguese URL. So this is going to be. Now I need to define the language. So the language I'm going to define, I'm going to pass here. But the language that it sent is going to be most likely lowercase and this is uppercase. So if I want. Uh, if I want the first letter uppercase, I use one carrot. If I want the whole string uppercase, I use two carrot. Right. So now I can do URL. Right. So I have everything that I need. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a log. So we can see that we are logging. We are getting this correctly. Link to open and link to open. And now I'm going to say open. Link to open. Right. So now when I when I execute here, it's going to be open. Does not exist. Now I'm going to see debug. So the link to open is the actual string. It's not the link itself. So what's happening here is that I have one variable inside the other variable. So I have this variable called link to open. And this is actually, I don't want the string of that, that is on that variable. I want this string to be interpreted as another variable. So I need to tell Shell to say, okay, I want you to get this string and interpret, interpret it. it as a as a variable I so I put exclamation mark exclamation mark here so now when I open it it's it's opening the correct form like if I do on debug mode now I get the URL right if I pass PT I get the PT URL all right so you can see that there are many, many uses uh, for a CLI. It's going to depend on your need and your creativity. So, but I have shown you how to uh, search docs, how to set up, uh, automate your computer setup, how to access a link, how to have a list of important links in your system so you can you can you can share those and you don't have to uh save bookmarks or whatever you have everything version here so there are so many use cases that you can that you can use a cli for and uh it's it's amazing what you can do and how the amount of time you save yourself in your all right so that's it that's what i wanted to show you if you like it give the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos and i'm going to see you on my next video